The toilets here were closed for several months. I sat down with the police and with the parks department and worked out how we could reopen them and just see how it went. And that was several months ago and so far they've remained open. We had a problem with people wanting to cross the park at this point. Frequent repairs of the fencing seemed to be a waste of money. I was happy to allocate some of my lift funding to have this gate put in and the path made so that people didn't have to cut down the fence. They could just get through the park, less cost overall to all of us. I've organized several litter picks in the recreation ground here. Another area where I've been able to put some lift funding into is a water fountain for people and for dogs that I've been told is going to be here soon. Here at the library I hold my monthly councillor surgeries. I've also had a disabled parking bay installed to provide better access. And next to the library we have of course the Winton Library Gardens which I've been campaigning to have reopened. It's a waste of a public space here that we can't ha have access. It does sound like there is some movement with the possibility of play equipment being installed. The council were going to close these toilets, but I managed to persuade them to keep them open. They're essential for people. Getting flood measures here was very important to the traders that work in this area. The flash flooding that they suffered caused lots of damage to them, and there's been ongoing flooding in this area for many years. I wrote to Councillor Beasley and got some measures put in place. We've got this cycle lane here in Cardigan Road that uh, residents said they wanted. Fortunately we were able to get that installed. Winton in Bloom, which you'll see along the Wimborne Road here, is something that I've been able to contribute from the Local Improvement Fund. I objected to a licensing application that would allow a licensed premises to be open into the early hours, weekdays and weekends. A compromise agreement was that they could open weekends and not weekdays. I think this reduces the disturbance for residents. Part of my campaigning has been against the oil rig in the harbour, where I've had support from Molly Scott Cato, our local MEP, and also from Amelia Womack, Green Party Deputy Leader. I've had lots of coverage in Bournemouth Echo about the issues I've brought to the council. I've spoken at the oil rig demonstrations on the beach. I remember one of the first ones where we all dressed in black to represent the oil that could threaten our beautiful beaches. So I allocated funds to the scout group that meet near the recreation ground here so they could make good use of their time, enjoy the outdoors. There's less youth types available for them so I think it's very important that they are able to occupy them to have some constructive activities. Hope for food, where I was able to make a, a small contribution from my lift funding to them. It's also somewhere where I volunteer when I can at their soup kitchen in the Winton area. I've supported the Winton Forum trying to resurrect that, getting that going again. That's an important part of getting people's voices heard. I was able to channel a small amount of funding to the Stanfield Road Residents Association for their work in contacting local students and welcoming them and letting them know about the bins and making them feel part of the community. I enjoy volunteering for the carnival, doing my bit of, of road duty telling cars where to go. Here I was able to allocate funding, having it ready, spruced up for the centenary event that was held here last year, a hundred years after the Battle of Fampu. I laid a wreath here and we had a little celebration here, some talks about the history of the gardens. I am councillor for Winton East and I have been since May 2015 when I was first elected. I'm restanding for election and I'm hoping that you'll vote for me. I live in the ward with my family and I want to keep Winton as a good place for families to live and to grow.